Are you struggling with forms? In today's tech world, there are so many options to choose from and it can get overwhelming. And the option I'm choosing is the simplest for me, ShadCN. Check out how straightforward and quick it is to implement. We have here simple ShadCN registration page where we are going to implement forms which are going to work asynchronously and we're also going to implement validation for each of these inputs. As always, I'm going to push all of this code to a public GitHub repository and you can find that one in the description below. And while you're there, I have a special challenge for you and that's to write an orcish comment on this video. It can be Loktar or for the horde. And I'm going to reply to you in the same orcish manner. Now we have this simple registration page, which I shamelessly took from ShadCN, and we currently don't have any form. So we need to implement ShadCN forms. And we have here first name, last name, email, and password. And that's the data that we need to process and validate before sending it to the server. We are going directly to ShadCN documentation and components page, where we are going to search for the component called form. The important thing to know about the ShadCM forms is that it is a wrapper around the React hook form library. So we are getting everything from the React hook form. If you haven't used it, check it out. And also we are getting the validation using Zod. So if we check here the manual installation of this component, you see that we are installing a bunch of dependencies. So that's for React label, React slot, React hook forms, hook form resolvers, and Zod. So we are getting all that in just one command. So we are going to run this command and install our form component. And that one is being installed, done. So now if we check the code and we check the package.json, we see that we added here Zod, React label, React slot, and also the react hook form and hook form resolvers and besides that in the components we have also the form component and now we can actually start implementing our forms so if we check the documentation here we see that we need to create a schema and i'm going to import all of this inside of our page so we are doing it here and I'm going to move Zod up there and we are going to need use client in order to use forms. And we are just going to change our schema currently here, it's username. We are going to use first name, then last name. Then we need an email where we are going to use email from Zod. And also we need a password. So for that, we can put just a minimum eight and maximum of 50, like this, not nine, eight. And there it is. We have our schema that we are going to use. Our whole validation goes through this schema. So for example, our first name cannot be below two characters and it cannot be above 50. And also it's a must have field. If you want it to be optional, you can just put optional from Zod like this. And Next thing we need to do is to put in the definition of our form and also the on submit handler. So I'm going to copy paste that one inside of our component. And here we just need to include use form from react hook form and Zod resolver. I don't know why is that one not showing up, but we are going to pick it up here from our documentation and I'm putting that one here. So now here just we have to put our default values. So for the first name, it's just going to be empty. Last name also and email and password. So now we have everything ready to actually put in our form inside the HTML. So going to the documentation again, Next thing we need to put in the form. We already have the button and the input inside of our simple registration page. And I'm going to put it here inside of our page. And we are just going to take this whole 
form and we are using a spread operator to include our form inside so we are going to put it here and a closing form tag just to put it below the buttons here and inside we are going to put our normal form so we are using a wrapper with react hook forms and we are wrapping the normal form element and in this form on submit we are just going to call form handle submit and inside we are going to call on submit function that we defined here so now we are ready actually to put in our form fields i'm going to copy paste this entire form field component and i'm going to replace it with our label and input as you can see we have also the form label so we don't need that one also so here i'm copy pasting it i'm saving and you see already that here we have a complaint it's not username it can be only first name last name email and password and that's really a great thing because now we already have some type of validation from our schema so here we need to put first name and we're also going to replace it here with the first name and placeholder can be first name and we can remove description for now we don't need it and i'm also going to remove it here from including our components and now we already have here as you can see on our page so it's looking a little bit different but when we change all the form fields it's going to look great and now we can already test out our first name so i'm putting only one character and i'm just going to remove this html validation and when i press create an account we are getting our validation straight from zod and also our first name becomes red so we know what is wrong with our form we know where is the mistake and now we just need to replace last name email and password so you can see how does it look in the end and i'm going to replace here email i don't know why i skipped that last name so this one email and also here i'm going to put last name instead of first i'm putting last and here for our password password and instead of email password so now everything should work and we already saw it that it's working so here i'm putting only a and we see this string must contain at least two characters this one also this is an invalid email and this string must contain at least eight characters and check it out now when i type here a it's automatically finished everything is working asynchronously and it's awesome so we can now fill in everything that we need dot com like this and password needs to have at least eight characters there it is it's working like a charm and now if we inspect here and go to the console and we create an account we see exactly what is being sent to our server so we finished our form and everything is working like a charm i'm just going to move a little bit these buttons i think they're not in the yeah they should be inside of this div so they get a gap also and now we have our form and a simple registration page which you can use wherever you want you can take this registration page from the description below everything is on a public github repository and if you'd like more ShadCN content, subscribe to this channel.